poll move is called the sleeping bird. I have mixed feelings on this one. So for this one, um, it requires copious amounts of thigh grip. And I would recommend before diving into this move, you feel relatively comfortable with like an inside leg hanging thread through to Cupid, Cupid inside or Cupid thread through to an inside leg because it goes through some of those transitions. So for this one, it's going to start from an inside leg and you're going to go through a thread through moment where you're going to go nose down before you cross your legs and pull and lift. Okay. Let's look at what that pose is going to look like right side up from the safety of the floor before we take it up high, inverted nose to the ground. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to sit down on the floor. You're going to put one knee, so it's pointing straight ahead, and then you're going to take the other leg and try to parallel or line up your knees. They won't actually have to, because remember, once you're up there, the pole is going to be between. But just to make you kind of have a feel for it, and it's a good stretch to prep for it, okay? When we get into that move, you're going to try to bring your knees as close together as possible in this kind of funky position here. But like I said, they're going to be a little bit farther apart because of the pull. You're going to grab the ankle of each leg. And then once you do get into it, you're going to then try to kick your feet away and engage your upper back and lift your chest. I found when kind of trying to figure out how this move worked after seeing it, being like, okay, how do I get into that? How do I make it look like that? Um, initially, I kept trying to just lift my chest and I wasn't kicking my feet in because there's that little thought in our mind of like, well, I don't want to move my legs because my life depends on it. But you'll actually find that the more you kick your legs out, it's actually going to lock you in even more here and it's going to make it easier to lift your chest. Okay. So when you get to the final pose, you don't want your feet to be close to your butt. You want to kick them out here. And in doing so, that, like I said, that's going to make it easier to lift your chest and your upper back. Okay. So for this one, like I said, we're going to go from a thread through inside leg hang. You're going to thread the leg through from that inside leg hang as if you're about to go to a cupid, but instead you're going to take the leg across. Heel's going to go to your butt. You're going to grab each heel and then voila. Okay. Releasing to come out of it, I recommend easing off your upper back, sinking back down so your chest is to the pole, and then you can release one hand at a time, both hands at a time, it's up to you, okay? But for that split second when you lower yourself down, your weight is going to be, or your life is going to be in the hands. It's going to be dependent on your inner thighs, okay? So there is a moment there where you have to kind of release from your hands, from your feet to grab the pole, okay? So let's look at this. You don't have to be high up. Okay, you just have to have enough height um, that your leg can come through. So you can do this one super low to the floor. Okay, so inside leg hang. From here, my inside arm is down, okay, in a, like a flat line-ish. I'm going to grab on close to my ankle and pull this foot towards my face. Now, from here, outside knee, bend, and you can kind of open up your elbow. Instead of your elbow pointing towards your side, open it out. So you can get your knee through. As soon as your knee comes through, you're gonna look down, that leg threads through, it's gonna cross, reach it straight up first, then cross, grab that foot, kick your feet out as you lift your chest up into it. Does not feel amazing on the inner thighs. To come out, release, and you're out. Okay, so. Not a whole lot of steps on this one, but that thread through at the very beginning, I would say for most people, that's going to be the most difficult part, which is why, like I said, before diving into the sleeping bird pose, um, work on that thread through inside leg hang to Cupid, Cupid thread through to inside leg hang. And it's the same kind of thing because there is that moment where we have to like turn our chest down where we're like, I don't want to, but you have to be comfortable with that. That bottom arm pushing is part of what makes that thread through possible. Okay, so that's why this has to go from a flat line-ish shape, not from a traditional inside leg hang where your hands are off the pole. Okay, so you have to be able to push away so that leg can thread through, grabbing onto the feet, lifting the chest, and looking up. So this one is a sleeping bird. Your thighs will definitely not be able to sleep after this because I don't know about you, I feel this one on my inner thighs. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a little abrasive. It goes away, but it's a little abrasive. Okay? With this move, as with all pole moves, always make sure you're doing it safely. Practice it low. Practice it with the mat. Practice it with the spotter, whatever you need to do so. 
Okay. If you need to kind of stretch it out to be able to get that crisscross, depending on what your internal external rotation strength and flexibility is doing that initial move that I showed you on the ground will help you kind of prep that booty for this move. Okay. So, because if you find that leg isn't crossing enough that you can grab it. All right. So the sleeping bird, try it out, play around with it. You can do this one on spin. You can do this one on static. It really doesn't make a difference. It works great on either one. Okay, put it together in a combo with some of your other fave pole moves and make it your own.